很大，转过来。Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? This is Alan Tan. I'm the international sales manager of Nansing. Today, I'm very pleased to be the host to say something about the network station. Um, before this, I still need to give you a brief introduction about Nansing. Nansing was established in 1996. Until now, we have 24 years history with woodworking machines. And during this time, we start from a small factory until now, we have production area more than 240,000 square meters. We have employee more than 1,000 people working in Nansing. And in 2015, we are the first working manufacturer in China to be leased in stock market. And today, we are in Dongguan Hojie factory, the exhibition center, more than 2,000 square meter with very nice lighting and the flooring and very nice machine. We're trying to give you a very impression. Okay, and let's say something about the Nest workstation. Why we use, okay, Nest machine to be a workstation. So we had to speak something uh, for nesting machine in the beginning. As you know, for overseas market, it's very popular to use nesting machine. And uh, we have different size for the table, four by eight, seven by nine, or even bigger. And for this workstation, we already showed to Taiwan customer and they have bought, purchased our software and for these base elements and then we sold them the nesting workstation. To compare the cutting difference with the panel saw, the nesting machine, we have some uh, good advantage such as the squaring because the nesting is always go around the workpiece. So it's different with the panel saw. Panel saw is always one cutting line. So they may have a scolding line. They may have a knot squaring like a Brunner knife because after the intention force release from cutting, the panel saw, the squaring may be not so good as nest machine. And uh, another one is the usage of the panels. Of course, the nest machine, if we have the optimizing software, even we have a cloud optimizing uh, service, the usage, common usage of the panels could be more than 90%. So this is a big difference with panel saw. With panel saw, you always have to think the best race material but Nest Machine can always help you to have a very high usage for panels. And another one is the Nest Machine. You don't need to worry about the head cut or rig cut. And the panel saw, always we have to cut, okay, from the cross time, and, and then you cut small piece, turn around, but Nest Machine, you don't have this kind of uh, trouble. It always can do the full run nesting on the panel. Okay, that's the uh, advantage we use the nesting machine. We come back to the nest workstation. On this workstation, we are using two nesting machines. Both of them can do seven by nine feet because in Taiwan or most countries, they use big panels, different like China. In China, most panel is four by eight, four by nine. But uh, for this solution, we're using seven by nine. So you can see the machine is very big, very huge. 
and then we can see both of the roller, the, the fin table uh, with the conveyor on top with the motor. So we can connect with the warehouse management system. Then you can prepare the raw material, feed on the auto load table. And then what we see there, the machine is making the labeling. So we can use have a full closed cycle from the warehouse system. So we have the full solution even from the beginning of the software such as the furniture designing and then from the design you can have all the data for OMS order management system and then we prepare for the warehouse management system to prepare the raw material and then as we know we have some material they may long time to prepare and then we have a system for advanced plane scheduling system then we have the system inside you can have a very good planning then at once you have the material ready to put in the product production and then of course the many s is very important the manufacturing execution system because all the data come from the MES, like the rubber. This is seven axis rubber. They got all the information on the system. So the MES system is very, very important. And then this is the base elements for this kind of workstation. So after MES, all the system can be get the data from system and then it's help the management or the factory to make the decision support analyze system so we can analyze what is for example the efficiency the machine the uh, how many work piece we done for the day and how long the machine is running and so on and later also we will uh, say something about the FCC it's like a CNC controller or something control in a machine okay you see after labeling the system the machine the auto load system has feed the panel on there so each work piece we have a labeling we can say ID or information on the labels and then after the machine will cut there or make the next team vertical drilling on the basic machine and then it's outfit conveyor to do the unloading the rubber seven axis will do, do the uh, unloading and sorting so follow me then you can get a full introduction about the workstation these are the two parts for the machines each machine we equate with two pounds. Each of pound is 7.5 kilowatt. It's a big uh, horsepower for to offer the very good vacuum or table to such a panel stable to avoid any movement when the machine doing the nasty. And if you find the pump is oil cooling, so it's very quiet in the workshop. You don't hear the noisy of the vacuum. So it's two pumps here. And this is the label printing system. We use the two linear guide, go along with this. And then this is the two rack and pinion system to make sure the printing can go very fast and very smoothly and precise and for the size or for direction of feeding we can choose left or right this one can be switch both so we can put on the, the other side 
So it's, it depends on your factory layout. The total uh, space for this workstation is only 20 meter long by 10 meter wide. So we can say the output is very high, which can cut uh, 160 big sheet per shift. And only we need uh, one or two operator to get all the job done. This uh, lip scissor, we see here, it's very heavy duty and strong, can hold more than three tons. What we are demoing now, the material is from uh, Agar UP. So you see the panel quality is very nice and I want to show you the best performance of the machine. We leave two forklift arms, then uh, you can use uh, forklift to do the loading also and then to, we give you the convenience, convenience to easy to make all the manufacturing. This uh, label system is from also very famous uh, brand uh, Zebra. So to, to give a very good print quality and a very good very big uh, horsepower uh, servo and then all this thing which is the pusher to push the workpiece go around go inside the machine the lubrication system also here then just uh, do some uh, portable maintenance of the machine very easy and all the things you see the cables we are using the quick uh, plug plug and connect system. So very easy for installation and maintenance. The whole body of the machine is very heavy duty. And then uh, both of the, the cables, chains, we use a uh, very good quality uh, brand uh, Eagles from Germany to, uh, to afford more than 10,000 times go and back and bend. So it is give you the safety that the cable lines is always uh, goes very smoothly. And the lead here, we have the, say the vacuum lever to lift, to lift up the workpiece go into the stand along machine I mean the, the basic machine for nesting, routing and vertical drilling we give you four vacuum cups one, two, three, four to make sure it catch up the workpiece very stable and smoothly so this is very important because if you cannot catch the Workpiece very stable, it may be job done, and the whole uh, manufacturing can be uh, failed. So all the details that we're using is very good uh, quality and a very, uh, I would say, very safe thinking. And then it's a very good designing for the dust going to the central dust extraction system. And then for the vacuum table here using a green table uh, put so with the vacuum air you can go around the table so to, off, to avoid any movement even we do the small piece cutting and uh, we use very I would say we use a very wide linear guide system here you see is it from High Wing, uh, Taiwan? The brand is High Wing to give you a very fast speed uh, movement for the Genji and also the rack and pinion system. Under that is the, the vacuum drum, the valves to control uh, when you have different size of panel, then you can 
choose the right vacuum joints to afford the best vacuum power. Did you see the this one for the two lens measurement system? So for this one, it helps you do um, a very easy uh, tooling management with the system that can help you to do the uh, tool management. This one is the, uh, we say, the fence device to let the workpiece go into the machine straight, to keep it straight and smooth. And when the pusher device push out the workpiece, it also can avoid you the workpiece going out. So this is the push device, uh, the fence device, you say. And of course, this is the, the electrical components, the electrical components cabinet for the machine. So here is the, some uh, introduction about the machines, but be, uh, beside this. Uh, we also will say something about the supervisor because uh, the whole workstation here we are using a supervisor to management all the data and the operation and now please uh, follow me we go you go with me and then we see the supervisor and then we demo the machine moving and the seven axis rubber will do the unloading and sorting Please follow me. In China and uh, some other countries, we already have the reference for this kind of workstation or automation lines. So this is a, a, real, a real data monitor from our customer. You can see the machine status and the work situation now. You will find the machine situation by like working time, the work piece, how is the how many works they, they have done and also you see the customer orders. So we can say this is the monitor the data monitors and then we offer you the total solutions like software machines to give you the whole system and also you can go to our website to get uh, more information about the different uh, different parts of the software and we have uh, videos and we have very clear description for each part. Say here we have the okay the, the the order station here. This is the machine running status. So by this you can really as a manager or as a management system or for the factory you can get all the data from system. Okay, now uh, let's go to the machine and we see more demo for the machines. This is our exhibition center. We have more than 2,000 square meters here. We work the machine like a live demo in the production, in the factory. So we welcome you to come to our factory, come to our exhibition center. We know it's uh, now it's COVID-19 uh, issue. Uh, it may be not possible to travel, but after COVID-19 issues is done, you are very welcome to visit us. And of course, we also will visit you. And uh, please uh, keep uh, keep to uh, how to say to follow our the change or the new things from Nancy.
this is the supervisor for the workstation. So you see, I, as I told you, each part has an ID for the parts. And then you will see the size, the station or the parts. And then this is all the, how to say, the movement or the, or the action from the workshop. It is help you to make all the processing only on supervisor instead of the machine. This is a very innovation, um, we say innovation uh, job for the workstation and even 4.0 induction line. And then only one or two guys, to, they can uh, control the whole Nest workstation. And very easy, this is very important, easy to use. And then WMS, when, where, warehouse management system, and the APS advanced planning scheduling system for material with the integration fully integrated together to give you a close work cycle. Okay, as you see, we prepared two panels which are finished cast, and then we show you the rubber to you, how to make it sorting, unloading and sorting. And thanks to uh, FinChina Soft, they give us a very big support for the software solution and the integration help, you see. The rubber, this is seven exit, go around with the rack and pinion. It's, and also we have the cover so the, the dust will not get inside. And then it's move around this linear guy and this system. We put six lift table. Each table, you can put the work piece on it. And thanks, and thanks to the, uh, we say, the software system, the robots can understand all the information, for example, the, the panel position and where to get the panel and put where. Please pay attention to this lift table. This kind of uh, tilling Elegrin will put the, we say, okay, best size one production to put the different workpiece in one set, but in one lift table. So this logic or calculation is very modern to give you the compact space, but very high output. And then you don't need to do the very complicated sorting after cutting. You just, you just uh, okay, follow the lift table, take out, go on the floor line, and send to the edge bending machine to do the edge bending. You see, the lift table can be automatically done based on the um, the height after workpiece stand on the lift table. This is the sensor to send to get the signal to the lift table to up and down. This robot can take more than 130 kilogram, and each hour it just take. Uh, Five five thousand watt for the energy consumption. So we can say it's much cheaper than labor cost. Now in some countries and uh, uh, some places, the labor cost can be very high. And it's it's the it's the tent and it's the the way now we find a way how to save the labor cost and the rubber is a very very good solution for this 
and the robot, we can say it never had problem. The maintenance is very easy to do. And you see, we put the workpiece on the right place, and then the robot put the put the panel on the right position. And by this kind of uh, unloading and sorting, uh, we say the crash on the surface. We can say we don't have the crash on the surface of workpiece. And then this is a special design vacuum spawns to hold the workpiece. So no matter you have a big or small or right size, we have different solution or different size for the workpiece. And even you have a vertical drilling or the holes on the workpiece, the vacuum sponge can still hold the workpiece well well. This is a very smart design. After sorting uh, and unloading, the chips will go down to the rubbish container. Please uh, look at the, the left machine, the red machine, the raw piece, the waste material. Okay. You see the clean, go down to the rubbish container and then you can take it out. And then you can go on the next walking cycle. Please look is how uh, smooth and uh, very square or very straight the robot do the unloading. And then you see here is like a working light for the robot. Now it's green means it's working normally. If like sometimes the workstation is paused or or stop, it will can be yellow. And if you have a like a, a problem or something, it will be like a red. Now you see the machine, the light of the machine. Now the next machine is yellow, so it's waiting for the. Uh, robots to do the unloading and finish unloading they will do the next job so you find the logic for sorting is very important and this is not easy and we have this very good solution for this already and this one can be one set of the like furniture or you combine different uh, orders together in one production but on the labels top you can uh, follow the sorting sequence to do the edge bending and jeweling very convenient And then I want to show you one pass which we do the nesting, finish the resin. This is from the last production. You will see the finish of the cutting very good. This is a chipboard. Very nice quality cutting, this is with wood grain. But you will see even this direction, it's very nice. And very squarely. You can uh, check with the squaring, the size, uh, our machine quality is very good for the nest cutting. 
and for the labels, okay, because the customer uh, to Taiwan, so um, this is Chinese, but even this, we, I can show you some uh, information on the labels, and this can be uh, customized. You can design what kind of information you put on labels. This is like the buckle for the next processing, can be the edge bending, can be the uh, sensor during, for example, six side during machine, and then you find the four side edge bending request, and also where to put the stop for, next, uh, for the CNC drilling. It show you where is the stopper, you put the stopper for an nesting machine. This is very important to avoid mistake. And then you get all information from the labels for the right production, and then to make sure you deliver the right furniture to the customer. And the rubber can be faster because uh, we still not fix the the floor the, with the rubber uh, very uh, strongly. So actually, the speed can be faster. One minute, this seven axis uh, rubber can do uh, about six to seven cycles per minute. And without the seven axis, I mean the fixed rubber can do about 10 cycles per minute. So it's very fast. And then this is a very good uh, match for two nesting machines. You, you see the head of the, the head of the rubber here can be tilting. You see, and with one big, one big vacuum sponge and the other one is small. So this is smart to get big and small parts. Okay, for example. So you see even small parts we put on the right position, right? This is not easy to do, but we can do. And then it's finished, can go in down. You can take out by some uh, trucks or floor line. You go, you send to edge bending or the during. Okay, you see the chips, uh, the waste chips or the dust and going down and then the conveyor belt just keep okay, clean. This one can be connected with the central dust extraction system. And then uh, for this machine, we can use uh, cutting. The cutting speed can be more than 30 meters uh, per minute. And we have the mixing, the tool changer, more than 12. Uh, and the main spindle is from Italy. High tackle is 12 kilowatt, very big uh, engine. The maximum speed for a rotation is 24,000 RPM. So it offers very fast cutting. And today, uh, this is the, our uh, live show to you about a nesting workstation. And then we show you the, all the, I'll say, the sequence from loading, labeling, auto low, nesting, and then uh, robot unloading and sorting. And uh, we, you will get more information on our website and uh, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. 
So please uh, follow us, and then we will give you a more and more impression. And thank you very much. Wish you have a very good day, and thank you to join us. I want to uh, thanks to our team too. We prepare this uh, show very nice, and thank you, thank you all. Okay, bye bye.